Be sure to gather all the correct equipment at the beginning. When you're marking your origin, you want to be sure to mark the origin at least above the fluid level of your mobile phase. If you are worried about confusing which strip is MEK or which is NECL, you can label each strip with an M and an N respectively. bevel down Watch the solvent front slide up the ITLC strip. Be sure to pull it before the solvent front reaches the top of the ITLC strip. It's difficult to see, so pay attention to it closely. When you look at your tubes, you'll notice that they're already labeled origin NACL, solvent front NACL, so please don't write again on the tubes. As the solvent front is moving to the end of the strip, get your containers ready. On the left I have my MEK, on the right I have my saline, so my container is solvent front MEK on the left, origin MEK. So as the origin or the solvent front is reaching the end as it gets about a centimeter away. Difficult to see, but it's approximately here. I'll cut it to the into the corresponding tubes, origin into the MEK origin, and then my solvent front goes into my solvent front. Same with the saline. Solvent front's about here. I have origin NACL cut the origin into the NACL and the solvent front of the NACL goes into the solvent front container. When this is completed, quickly put on the tops of each container. And you're ready to count.
be sure to cover up your mobile phases again because the MEK uh, is very volatile and it makes the lab quite stinky. Set them aside. Take your tubes to go and count in the MCA. When you count the tubes, be sure to count for approximately 30 seconds to ensure that at least 10,000 counts are acquired for the bound segment of the radiopharmaceutical. This will ensure good statistics when you're calculating your percent labeling or percent impurity. When you place your tubes into the MCA, you'll notice it doesn't fit all the way down. So what you'll have to do is pull the metal lining from the MCA so that your tube fits directly down onto the well counter. Sit it so that it's nice and straight, it'll bounce, and then you can start your count. When all four counts are completed, be sure to put the lead lining back into the MCA. Once your counting is complete, be sure to empty your containers. Sometimes it gets a bit sticky. Use your tongs to pull it out. pH testing will be performed in the same manner it was in Pharmacy 230, so be sure to read the Pharmacy 230 lab manual and appropriate modules to review that. Sterility testing will be performed using a test tube like this below. It has a sterile growth median present in the bottom of the test tube. It will be located in the refrigerator. You can take it from the refrigerator only when you're ready to do the sterility testing. The cap is loose, so be careful when you're picking it up. You'll label the test tube with your name using a grease pencil. Being sure that the remaining component uh, of your QC volume doesn't touch the side and actually gets into the growth median. Go nice and close to the growth medium at the bottom and squirt the remaining contents. Recap safely. Discard the needle and syringe appropriately. Recap your sterile median and put it back in the refrigerator.